This is a story about health care. This is a story about health care in Denmark. I'm an American citizen living in Denmark. And I decided to do this documentary because I thought it would be a good idea to be able to give my fellow Americans a bird's eye view on how health care works in a country where I migrated to almost a decade ago. In America, from the private sector, we tend to view things from a capitalistic angle, demonizing other views before we even take an educated, scientific endeavor to find out what things really are about. If you want to make money in America on a big business level, then communism and socialism are your biggest enemies. But us Americans seem to get away with calling things communists and socialists without ever being challenged on TV or in the media in an open manner. One thing I notice that gets watered down in the debate is the word public. Better yet, the word community can also be used, but let's just stick to the word public for now. I decided since most successful political personalities in America seem to have a need to be reminded of the definitions of the words they use, We'll take a glimpse at the definition of the word public. Public, adjective, of concerning or affecting the community or the public, the public good. Maintained or used by the people or the community, a public park. Capitalized in shares of stock that could be traded on the open market, a public company participated in or attended by the people or community. Opinions are formed in a process of open discussion and public debate. Connected with or acting on behalf of the people, community or government, public office. Enrolled in or attending a public school. Transit passes for public students. Open to the knowledge or judgment of all. A public scandal. Denmark, the country, and the Danes. Who are they to us? The people of Denmark consist roughly of five and a half million people. 60% of the land is used for farming purposes that actually supplies countries like the United States with a whole lot of dairy products. But not just dairy. In fact, the term Danish used by Americans is actually a morning pastry. What we don't seem to know as Americans is while we get the same old Danish every morning, Danes get over a thousand different variety of Danishes. Freshly cooked bread from bakeries that are located on just about every block in Denmark. In fact, they don't even call it Danish. Surprisingly, Danes are very similar to Americans and agree on a lot. Not only were they a huge supporter of the American invasion in Iraq, and a staunch ally on the war on terror. But Danes seem to also love their McDonald's. We're here in Denmark, beautiful sunny weather, the air is fresh, and we're just going around town meeting all types of Danish people. The Danes are wonderful people, they love Americans. Americans, come to visit Denmark, you'll love it. Check this out, I'm here on Rahusplatz with two Danish youth. Can I say that? Right? And I'm going to ask them one simple question. Never met them before. If you guys had the chance to exchange the Danish healthcare system with the American healthcare system, would you do it? No. no Absolutely no, not. No. no? No? Why not? Well, because you you feel kind of safe when you just pay the taxes to it and then you can come to a hospital yeah, whenever the, you need the to. The comfort that you don't have to pay for large operations and that stuff. Yeah. You, you, most of the things are free of charge when you paid over the tax. Absolutely. Yeah. So the poor, can, the poorer people can also get help. Okay. Okay. How have, have you guys grown up with this system? Is it, it yeah. from uh, yes? Ever, ever since I was born, we have uh, have the system, and it, my sister she uh, once fell down and uh, got a hole in her head, and we could just go to the hospital and get it so back through fixed yeah. right away. And didn't cost anything. yes, didn't cost a cost a thing. Tell me something. If you had the chance to exchange the Danish healthcare system with the U.S. healthcare system, would you do it? Of course not. No. no of course, of course. You seem you seem certain about that. Yeah, okay. Why? Wow. Uh, because USA has at least I think 
about 30, 40 percent people the, doesn't have insurance, health insurance. 30, 40? They, they have two programs for the poor people only, but it is only this. And I don't know what is in Denmark, but uh, for example in Poland, uh, we have 96 percent of whole of, of uh, no whole people in Poland insuranced, so they get free, well free 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 medicine and. Stuff. Ninety-five percent of the people in Poland have health care insurance. Yes. Okay. Yes, because it is, uh, they are obligated to. When they are working, some uh, some part of their wage, some part of their money they, they, they earn, it is put into the insurance, health insurance. They are obligated to do so. So it is a good system. So it's public health care, basically. Yes, exactly, exactly this one. If I told you that 45 million Americans didn't have health care, what would you, what would that do to you? I wouldn't be surprised. This is America. Okay, we're the talk of the town, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. If you had an opportunity to exchange your Danish health care insurance card with an American healthcare system, would you do it? No. Why? Well, first of all, I've, I've, lived, in, in, I've lived in the States before. Uh, my dad's from America, and um, to be honest, in Denmark we have so many good things. You know, no matter what happens with you, you can get help. And no matter what happen, happens with your family, you can get help as well. And in the States it's just not quite the same, you know. So really that's why, not because, you know, because the States is amazing, I love the States, but it's just not as, they don't take as good care of their people as we do here in Denmark. Okay. So. Wow, too many horror stories, basically. Um, well. About the health care. Well, basically, yeah, my, my uncle, um, who uh, died not long ago, um, there wasn't anyone to take care of his son when he died, and it was like out on the street if you don't have any family to help you out, you know. And I think that's really harsh. We had to actually help uh, my cousin out as well from over here in Denmark, and it's just not like that here in Denmark, you know. If something goes wrong, and if it goes wrong, sometimes it goes really, really wrong. If you don't have anyone to help you out, then basically you're stuck having nothing, okay. and you can't really change it. So basically, if there's a problem, you can at least go and see a doctor. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost anything as long as you, you're Danish. <laughs> so. Okay. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. We're here again with some more Danes that want to talk healthcare in the streets of Copenhagen, Denmark. Let me ask you this question. Simple. If you had the chance to exchange the Danish healthcare system with the American healthcare system, would you do it? No, I wouldn't because we have the, um, yeah, I don't know that the English word for it, we have this, this system that uh, we can go uh, free to all hospitals uh, and that's very important instead of considering uh, w what kind of money you have to earn, uh, to, to have to be cured in uh, some ways. I don't know, I, hear, I don't know a lot about the American system but I hear that you can actually have to wait for a lot uh, of time because you need the money for, for it. Right, right. We don't really, unless it's a private hospital, of course. Uh, do you think, if, if someone told you that, uh, let's say, two million Danes didn't have health care, would that bother you? Yeah, it would bother me. Bother me. Uh, but I don't think I'm not. I'm not into. I don't know all the details about our health care system. Uh, obviously, um, I think we all we all think that it works pretty well. That's my thought of it anyway. <laughs> so you're definitely sticking with this one for now? For now, until something better comes along, yes. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I know my fellow Americans have a lot to think about on this journey as I walk through the streets of Copenhagen. I kept thinking Denmark and Poland, they're both countries with troops in Iraq because the United States asked for their help. But one big difference that keeps popping up the fact that over 96% of even Polish people have health care. That means the veterans' families have health care as well, poor or rich. And the young woman, Sierra, whose dad is an American, couldn't get help while she, being in Denmark, has the opportunity to have health care that's affordable and guaranteed by the public trust. I started thinking about if something happened to me in the States and I was taken to an emergency room, 
What would happen to me? I'm poor. Well, that's why on my agenda, I have set to go to the oldest hospital still around in Copenhagen called Bisbee Beer Hospital, located just about 10 minutes drive from the center. I wanted to get to speak to a healthcare professional, and I decided to start in the place most people find out they have a problem, the emergency ward. And I was going to meet the head of emergency, Dr. Ben Deuce, here at Bisbee Beer Hospital. Yeah. Good day. And you are, sir? I'm uh, Dr. Deuce. 